Hello folks, so this is 2016, February, March, paper 1-2, and the question number is 19. It says that uh, the Young's modulus of steel is twice that of copper, so that means y, y of steel should be equal to twice y of copper, y of copper. A 50 centimeter length of copper wire, which is uh, we have got this uh, L of copper is equal to 50 centimeter. And that's also equal to the length of steel wire. So it is a length of a steel wire. And then we have a diameter of a copper wire is equal to. Now let's write steel first actually because we start with steel. So diameter of steel wire is DS is equal to 1.0 millimeter. And a diameter of a, a copper wire is equal to 2.0 millimeter which means that uh, we have we have we have so if I uh, mm, so this means our diameter of copper is equal to twice of diameter of steel or I can say diameter of steel is equal to 1 by 2 of diameter of copper now uh, this uh, composite wire here combination wire is stressed by a weight added to weight with its end that means the forces in both of them should be same both the copper and steel obey Hooke's law, so yes. So we now have to find the ratio of the extensions. So let me uh, first write the expression for the Young's modulus. Young's modulus is equal to F by A divided the extension by the original length equal to FL by AE. And since A is equal to pi d squared by 4, it should be equal to 4 FL by pi d square e so this will give us the extension is equal to 4 f l by pi d square then y then y so the extension for <coughs> steel will be equal to 4 f f should be same on both of these things so then we have got this uh, l thing here ls ls by pi d s square then y s why well, yes, uh, similarly, extension for copper is equal to 4FLC divided uh, divided by DC square then YC. So the ratio should be equal to, so therefore ES by EC is equal to 4FLS by pi DS square YS whole divided 4 f l c divided by pi d c square then y c so i can cancel several things here so let me cancel this 4 f and 4 f goes pi and pi goes so the ratio uh, or everything that we can have here is so l s l s into this will be go up so d c square into y c divided by l c then d s square y s equal to so i can take the ratios or i can take the uh, values as well here so uh, since <coughs> ls and lc ls and lc are equal their ratio should be equal so let me first separate them here ls by lc then we have d c by d s square then we have y c y s so since ls and lc are equal the ratio is should equal to one into now we have got uh, dc by ds so here from here dc by ds should be equal to dc by ds should be equal to two is to one so from here dc by ds should be equal to two is to one so it should be two square into then now we have got uh, young's modulus of uh, steel equal to twice of yc so that means so yc by ys should be equal to 1 by 2. So it's equal to 1 by 2. That means the whole thing is equal to 4 into 1 by 2 equal to 2 is to 1. So extension in steel by copper is equal to 2 is to 1. So if I go through the answer choices, then uh, choice number sorry, B is the correct choice.